want to discuss the utilities on here. We have uh, 110 is required for your uh, temperature controller box. And uh, there be another 110 outlet right here. That's for your power supply. You notice that the, uh, the red and black wires here, that's uh, used for ball bonding. So it, we just left it on there. We don't have the uh, head for that right now. This is convertible. So you're able to do ball bonding, 90 degree wedge or 45 degree wedge bonding. And then the other uh, utility required is a uh, 50 PSI airline. There's a bunch of pneumatic valves up top here that are used for the bonding process. And so we have a, a regulator was put on the side there and then you can regulate it, turn it on and off. Okay, we'll go around the front and we'll take a look at uh, a couple of bonds. Okay, here's your bond head here and it has the uh, 45 degree angle um, bond tool head set up on it right now. It has the clamps are behind the wedge tool. Here. Um, the other thing too is we're using a half inch uh, spool of one mil gold wire and it's fed through the transducer and then through the clamps and through the tool. It's explained in the manual that you'll receive on how to uh, thread the wire through the wedge tool. You have a work holder here. We have it set for 150 degrees C. It's a rotary type and uh, you have to position this clamp down here right in the front in order to open it. And, and then you can add your work to the top surface. Okay. Now you have a, a um, stage here that's adjustable, so the height can be adjusted by moving it up and down. You can see that it moves smoothly. I moved that up a little bit. It's a little tight. And again, here's a manual that you receive, both for the uh, digital temperature controller that I put on and the uh, convertible wedge ball bonder. So you'll receive this with the uh, bonder. And I guess the only other thing to show you is uh, we're set at 150. We have a coupon on there, a test coupon. One mil go wire. There's our temperature set. And uh, this machine, you have the capability of storing five different buffers. So as you can see, we're at buffer one right now. So these are bond settings that you want to use for different various buffers here that you can load up and decide to use those settings. Right now I'm using buffer one. Uh, we'll just step through that real quick by hitting edit. So we're going to do two bonds. Ultrasonic power for bond one is 300, two is 300. And the time I have set works well with this right now. That the setup that I have is uh, 90 for the time on both. I got a loop height setting, wire pull, wire tail, full force on off, calibrate. Again, this will be explained in a manual on how to program your uh, bond settings. So. Oh, the other thing is I put this light on here, it's independently, you'll need a power source for that too, it's a 110 light, you have a switch here on and off, so it's a fluorescent type light, it's your microscope here. So uh, we're all set up here and what I'll do is I'll do a couple of bonds just to show you that uh, you may not be able to see the bond being formed, but at least you can see the motion of it. So I'll go ahead and I'll use our chessman here, looking at the microscope, I'll uh, it's all manual here, so we'll just bring it down until we make contact. You'll hear a beep. Oh, I may have lowered the stage a little too much. Uh, let's see where we're at here. Oh, I'm still in edit mode. And then let's take that out by hitting escape. Okay, we'll go ahead and do a bond now. So we'll do bond one. As you're raising up to loop, it beeps to allow you your, uh, to indicate that you're at your top of your loop and then you can come down. What happens here is the clamps will close to help in the bond formation, and the loop formation, excuse me. And we'll go ahead and do bond two. It's bond one. Once we hit loop, we'll want to start heading back down. And that's bond two. So this is 
showing you that the bonds are being formed. Again, this is one mil gold wire. Okay, that's about it. The machine's uh, running fairly well. And uh, I did order the, uh, the shipping brackets, so they're they should be in today, and we'll put them on before we ship them out to you.